It's the NFL on EA Sports, and the wait is over for this rivalry game. It's the Niners and the Seahawks on Thursday night primetime. It's known as one of the loudest stadiums in sports for a reason. And it'll only get louder as the collective 12th man starts cheering for their Seahawks. Welcome to Lumen Field in Seattle. Welcome to another entertaining matchup, folks. Kate Scott, Brock Heward on the call in this... to get this one going. And away we go from Lumen Field. It's Debo Samuel with the return. Finds some space, he's past the 30. And this will give them decent field position. The return gets out to the 30. All right, let's get this show on the road. It is first and 10. Throwing to start this game. Short pass caught by his tight end. And this one gets to the 33-yard line before it stops. Second down now, seven to go. Now it's Purdy. He'll get this to Samuel. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. That's just great instincts. Go air it out on second down rather than just play conservative and run it. They hit a weak point in the coverage and don't need to worry about third down at all. Escapes the pocket. Oh, look at this. Here he goes. Tick, 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 tick. You know, his internal clock right there told him it was time to escape, and good thing he listened to it. He was able to make something out of nothing and at least move them forward. They'll put one of the tight ends in motion. Play action now with Purdy. Getting out to his left. Taking off with it again. An excellent gain. 20 yards there, and that's going to move the sticks. Offense set for a first and 10. Running back, motioning right. First down throw by Purdy. He completes it in traffic. And he'll be brought down here at the 23-yard line. Halfway to the marker. It's second and five. From the 23. It's taken in by Yuschen. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. This offense in position now. It's first and goal. From the red zone now. And he will score. It's a San Francisco touchdown. The 49ers finish up an excellent opening series. That one right down the middle. And they add one on to their first touchdown of the contest. Out to kick it away. Here's Moody. His return starts at the five. He's got a lane up past the 30. I don't think they're going to catch him. Touchdown. He takes the kick all the way back for six. The advent of a new style of kickoff in 2024 created all sorts of new strategies to generate big returns. And Brock here, we see their own design executed to perfection to spring them for six. Now, I don't know if we've seen a rule change that has invigorated special teams coaches, head coaches, all the coaches, yep. as much as this one did this offseason, each looking for their own wrinkle to try to throw in there and do what we just saw, break it the length of the field for six big points. And he's brought down just inside the 25 on the return. This, our last play of the quarter. Pretty throwing here on first. Into the hands of Samuel, complete. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. We're back, and it's 49ers football as we resume. 
They have second down behind the sticks. Shotgun snap for Purdy. Caught him deep behind the line. Oh, the ball is out! And this is going to be a turnover. The defense forces the big play. You're using this play to try for a first down, but also set up what's ever in your back pocket for third down. But you know what? Throw it all away. None of it matters now if you can't hang on to the doggone football. And the defense pounces on that one in a hurry. And he will score. Touchdown, Seattle! The Seahawks capitalize on that turnover and take the lead. Myers to add the PAT. That one splits the uprights. And they'll continue adding to their lead. Here's Myers now to handle the kickoff. Fielded at the seven. And in the end, he's able to get it to what used to be a touchback. It's at the 25 after the return. They're out and set, first and 10. Well, we've already seen some nice plays here, and we're going to see plenty more before this game ends. But you might be thinking, with plays like that, my guy's ratings should be better. Well, you're not alone. you got a chance to let the Madden Ratings Hotline know just what you're thinking. Give them a call, 1-844-MADDEN-1, and make your case for who should get a boost. Purdy on first down. He'll get it to Brandon Ayuk. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. Working out of the gun, it's Purdy. Tight end reels in the shallow throw. And he's marked down, looks like at the 32-yard line. Let's see what they want to do here, partner. It's second and inches. From the 32. Defense too much. The Seahawks drag him down. And that pushes him back. Third down coming up. We're at the two-minute warning now from Seattle. The 49ers with the football. Let's see what they went with on third down. They'll try and pick this up on the ground. And it's good yardage, but they tackle him short of the sticks. Seven yards to pick up there. It's fourth down. The Seahawks calling for a timeout. So they're first to three. It's a punt coming from the Niners on fourth down. And Mitch Wisnowski out to boot it away. And this looks like it got just inside the 20 as it flew out. And indeed it did. They're putting the ball at the 19-yard line. And the drive will start out with a first and 10. Shotgun snap to Smith. They'll get this one to Brown. And they'll take him down at the 43-yard line. A jolt to start that drive. They're up near the 45-yard line. First and 10 now. Here's Smith. That's going to be an incomplete pass on the throw to the right. Trying to find his tight end. And we'll see what they do here on second down. Back to the air. It's Smith. And that's nearly intercepted, but couldn't hang on. Just a harmless incompletion. It's third down. And again, it's Smith. Has a man. It's Brown. And he's brought down right in the neighborhood of that 40-yard line. First down now, ball at the 39-yard line. From the gun, Smith. Well, the pressure nearly got to him, but still a good play defensively as that one falls incomplete. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. Out of the gun, here's Smith. Nice pass, complete over the middle to the tight end. And he takes it in, touchdown Seattle! The Seahawks 
grow their lead just before halftime. Myers to add the PAT. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. Here's Myers now to handle the kickoff. And he opts not to bring this one out, so they're going to enjoy some good starting field position from the 30. Offense ready to begin this drive, first and 10. From the gun is Purdy. Kittle brings it in. And he's up to the 35-yard line as they reel him in. Halfway to the marker, it's second and five. Looking to throw, Purdy. And his perfect start is over. And that's the first one of his throws to wind up incomplete. Well, Kate, that wasn't a fast enough break for the interception, but it was good enough and a good enough break to break on the ball, get a finger on it, and foresee incompletion. Third and short, here's Purdy. He's on the move, and they get to him as he was trying to make something happen. And the defense comes through. That's going to back him up and bring up fourth down. Now Seattle going to call it second timeout. And they still have one in their pocket for what's left of this half. Hunter takes the field on fourth down, and he sends this one flying. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. You know, I'm sure Coach would prefer he not flirt with disaster on the return. No additional damage is done, however. They're fortunate to get the ball back, and everyone can breathe a little sigh of relief. Oh, he loses the football. But it looks like someone from the Seahawks got on top of it, and they'll get it back. Just before halftime, we get a timeout taken. Kenneth Walker gets it for the first time. And he has a decent gain on what's going to be the final play of the half. We've reached, oh, I guess we could have just kept both teams out here. We're moving past halftime and getting right to the start of the second half. Out to kick it away. Here's Moody. Return starts at the nine. He's a racing past midfield. And they finally bring him down after a huge return into their territory. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Hand off to Walker from the gun. And he's got a decent gain before being brought down. Give him around six. That's going to make it second and four. It's a pick up of six. Brings up second and four the 20-yard line. Smith back to throw. Catch made. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Seattle! The Seahawks grow the lead coming out of halftime. Tyler Lockett the touchdown. The extra point is up, and it is good. And they'll continue adding to their lead. Jason Myers to kick off for Seattle. Here's Myers now to handle the kickoff. He fields it from the eight. And the return sets them up just beyond their own 20. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Now it's Purdy. He'll get this complete to Jennings. And they're going to bring him down just beyond the 30 at the 31. I feel so bad. I really do. And I don't mean this sarcastically, Kate. <laughs> I feel bad for these guys in coverage. I don't know how you defend some of these players today. Because they get that drag route. They get one step inside of you. Well, there's very little you can do other than make the tackle. Hey, Kate, you feeling lucky? <laughs> Well, the quarterback is because he just dodged a major turnover. That was an easy pit that was simply dropped. 
No connection on the last play, and out's third down. Now Purdy. That's caught for the first. And he'll get it up near the 38-yard line before going down. Up to the line, and they're set. First and ten. To throw again, it's Purdy. Escapes. Got him deep behind the line. Oh, the ball is out! And the Seahawks pick it up. And they stop him before he gets much on the return. You know, this just can't happen on first down. It really can't. I mean, ball security is a premium on every down, every distance. But on first down, it is especially a killer. Into the hands of Walker. And he's short of the first after a mild game. Every once in a while, it's fine to be conservative on first down, especially when you get enough to stay on schedule and get a little something coming out of it, too. This is Walker on second. And he stopped out at the 16 after a small game. They managed a single yard that time. They're going to have to solve third down and four. Shotgun snap. They're going to throw. Pass complete to Walker. And he's brought down for a loss. He specializes in salvaging broken plays out of the backfield, but even he couldn't get anything out of that one, Kate. That defense, they were all over it. We've reached the end of the third quarter on this third. Jason Myers out there now to try a field goal for the Seahawks on fourth down. This is a 35-yard look from the right hash. And this one had a brief chance, but not a good kick in the end. He misses it. They're out and set, first and ten. Something I would have never said 20 years ago, Kate, when I started this business, but it rattles through my big old noggin now. That mess really has an effect on fantasy football owners more than anybody else. Imagine the poor soul somewhere, anywhere, who ends up losing the fantasy this week specifically because of that miss. Purdy now on second and ten. On the move, headed right. Trying to get away from the pressure, but he can't, and they drop him. Working quickly here. And they get to him again. Offense up to the line fast. Here he goes. Got to have this on fourth down. And it's going to be incomplete. Couldn't connect to extend the drive. So the defense rises to the challenge and gives the ball back to their offense. First and goal, here's Walker. And the defense is all over this one for a big loss. Second chance at six here, it's second and goal. Staying with Walker. And he'll push them down to the six yard line. A pickup of four, that brings up third and goal. So we're down to the two minute warning here from Seattle. Seahawks, well, they can probably just run away and hide. So now, here's third and goal. Smith to the air now. And he's going to score. Touchdown, Seattle. The Seahawks put up even more points in a win. It's a DK Metcalf touchdown. This one is up and good. And they'll continue adding to their lead. Jason Myers to kick off for Seattle. Here's Myers now to handle the kickoff. Brings in the kick at the nine. And this drive will start inside the 25. Now out comes the San Francisco offense. And this a final opportunity to make things a little closer in that final score.
First down throw by Purdy. Defense too much. The Seahawks drag him down. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. Trying again, following the sack. And a stunning loss there, Brock. He ends up in his own end zone. That is a wild safety. And that drive, Brock, I I'm calling that the 2-2-2. Two, two, two. two plays, two sacks for the defense, and two points for him as well, thanks to that safety. You kind of felt it building, right? That's what happens with defenses. They can feel and sense, and they get that momentum. They get the first takedown, they come right back and get that second now. Oh, now it's imperative this offense responds because you've infused that defense with a bunch of momentum. The Seahawks in good field position to start this drive off as they head up to the line. First and ten. First play of the drive. Here's Walker. Through the defense he goes. Room to burn. And stop me if you've heard this before, Brock. They've scored again, and they grow that lead further. The Seahawks are running them out of the building. Kenneth Walker, the touchdown. That one splits the uprights, and they'll continue adding to their lead. Here's Myers now to handle the kickoff. Returnable from the one. He's brought down at what looks like the 24-yard line. The San Francisco offense headed out to take over. And they'll get one final chance in a game that, uh, to put it mildly, Brock, has been a bit of a miserable experience for him. Defense too much. The Seahawks drag him down. Offense to the line for second down. Another try following the sack. Back-to-back -back sacks. Nice work by the defense there. Sets him up with a third down. Working out of the gun. It's Purdy. Oh, no. He lost control of another one. And it ends up out of bounds. A small loss on the play, but they do, importantly, keep possession. Punt team is on now, and they get this away. Picked up at the 38. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. Victory formation here. Looks like they're going to take a knee on first down. And this should just about do it, Brock. One last kneel down to run out these final seconds. They could stop the clock now if they choose. In the final moments of the game, every second counts. If you're going to call a timeout, you want to be right next to that official to signal it in just as that knee goes down. And they'll kneel this down. They could stop the clock now if they choose. In the final moments of the game, every second counts. If you're going to call a timeout, you want to be right next to that official to signal it in just as that knee goes down. And he's going to take a knee. So several thousand 12th men and women cheering as the Seahawks win at home. And partner, I know you took down plenty of division rivals in your NFL days. Heck, your conference opponents back in Washington in your college days always makes the win a little bit sweeter when it comes against a rival, doesn't it? Yeah, there's just a little bit more emotion. There just is. Yeah. I mean, you try to keep every game level, and no opponent's bigger than the other, but familiarity does breed a little more contempt, <laughs> and we could feel it today, and that's why that W is a little bit sweeter. So for my partner, Brock Heward, and our entire crew, I'm Kate Scott, saying this has been the NFL on EA Sports. So long, everybody.